Yo guys, what up, what up, what up? So, uh, I'm gonna do this intro in the car because I'm already late. But um, this is probably my last day in Brasov. Um, so of course I gotta end it off with uh, visiting Dracula's castle. Uh, they call it Brand's castle. It's, uh, so Dracula was a real dude, he was Romanian. Uh, he fought the Ottomans. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what his full, his full name was. I know it was Vlad, Vlad something. <clears throat> but yeah, his castle is right up here, and uh, of course, I had to go check it out, so that's what I'm going to do. Yo, so I had to pull over real quick to uh, wash off my breakfast. My stomach hurts. I drank tea with no milk. Um, on an empty stomach, which always makes my stomach hurt. It's got to have milk in it or I got to eat something with it. So, for breakfast, I'm having three of these delicious village apples. And I'm not even exaggerating when I say these are some of the best apples I've ever ate. These small little apples. They don't, they don't look it, but they got some of the best flavor. They're so flavorful, so tasty, so nutritious. Yo, so I'm out here in this quaint little town. Uh, the castle's up over that way somewhere. I'm probably gonna run up in there here in a minute. I wanna grab a little bit more to eat. That was a pretty light breakfast, those apples. Um, this town's pretty amazing. Like everything in this area, the architecture seems pretty old. And uh, it's got a nice vibe to it. As I was walking here to go up to the castle, I found this nice little thing here with the nice little building. And I saw this, and I guess it's called a Lengosh. I gotta try that. You already know I gotta try that. It looks too good. It's got cheese and cream, and then like a, like a, I don't even know what it is under it, but I'm gonna eat it. So I'm gonna try this out. All right, so this is what they brought me. It's got garlic cheese, cream, and garlic. It sounds strange, but I'm gonna see how strange it tastes. All right, that's interesting. That's what that is. That's super interesting. Would I eat it again? Absolutely. So I bought one of these little magnets for my wife. She likes to, whenever we travel somewhere, we buy them. And she likes to stick them on the fridge. I'm gonna move it over to the castle. All right, so I had to get three tickets, three separate tickets. One is for the main castle, which I'm in the courtyard right now. <clears throat> the other one's for a tunnel that goes under the castle. And another ticket is for the torture room, I guess, where he used to torture his adversaries or the people he was captured or like when he captured the Ottomans, he would torture them. But yeah, it's pretty amazing out here. Um, yeah, courtyard castle. This is the courtyard. This is the castle way up on this hill. Amazing to think that a king lived up here 
with his princess <clears throat> and fought wars in this area. So this is a castle fireplace. Yeah, castle fireplace right here. So right up here is the queen's bedroom. <clears throat> it's got two iron doors. It was built in the 1960s. And uh, yeah, pretty amazing. Two iron doors. This is the bedroom. It's a huge trunk made of a fir tree. Look at that. Imagine that thing full of gold.
So it says right here, this is the armory. This, I guess, is the torture room right here. What a brutal time. Oh my goodness. Look at this one. Look at that. Oh, that's horrible. Wow. Impalement. Among the most ferocious and barbaric tortures, impalement is typical of the Middle Eastern countries. This torture was usually inflicted on the prisoners captured bearing weapons. Man. God, look at that. Now look at that. That's definitely what that was used for. Look at that right there. Now look at that. Oh man. Something's going through your head right there. Shh. Insanity. So these right here are shackles for your feet. Tie two prisoners together. One prisoner's feet goes here, the other one right there. So this is the gridiron. It's used to slowly cook people. Believe that. Oh my 
goodness, I don't even gotta explain that one. Look at that. Oh, God. Shh. Oh, man, so this is the iron boot. They put this on. They screw it on super tight. So it presses up against your shins in a very violent manner. And then they force you to walk. So this right here is called the Spanish Tickle Torture and it's just used to basically hang you up somewhere and just basically shred you to pieces. Oof, so this one, as you can see, they tied it around your neck. One part goes into your chest, one part goes into the bottom of your chin. Ouch. The Fork of the Heretic, it's called. Yeah, just looking at that room, you can only imagine what some people went through. Horrible. Absolutely horrible. It's a well right here. I don't know what that is, but some. Alex?
little gift shop right here. This is a map of Transylvania here. This little village right in front of the castle is pretty cool. Interesting little village. Selling all kinds of souvenirs right here. Now, it's time for a black tea. With milk and honey, preferably, but I'm probably gonna put some sugar in there. And I think I'm gonna have to get, I'm gonna call it, I forgot what it's called, but I'm gonna have to get basically it's an elephant ear with no sugar, no cinnamon. It has that cheese and that cream and that garlic on it. That's a true Transylvanian elephant ear with the garlic. And it's pretty delicious. I'm gonna have to get another one. All right, so I made it back to the car. I got my black tea. And then I got one of these. It's a traditional cake of some kind. I forgot the name of it. Turkish, 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 something like that. I don't know what it, I don't know what it's called. But uh, yeah, I was gonna get one of them langoshes. Then I saw this. I'm like, I didn't try this. So let me try this real quick. Let's see what's up with it. Look pretty good. The langoshe is better, but it's all right. So I'm gonna hop in this car, head back to the city, and then I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do next.